Hello, 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 everybody. Today we are playing public Call of Duty Zombies on Plutonium. I think we're on round three, and they already have the pack a bunch, which is a little crazy. As you might be able to tell from the sound of my voice, it is 12 14 a.m., and I might not be the most. I gotta think of a way to wear this without being demonetized, right? Uh, <laughs> I might not be the most in. I gotta. How do I word this? Let's just say I've drank a few too many water bottles. Yeah. Oh my god. Why do my teammates have so many points? Anyways, I thought it might be funny to record a video like this. I remember when PewDiePie uh, used to do this state of being Minecraft, and again, you're gonna have to forgive me for my awkward way of wording things. YouTube's kind of been getting strict lately on the way that um, things are worded. So I have to be a little careful, but I'm sure you all understand what I mean. Typically, I record my videos around, uh, probably around like 10 to 11 a.m. It'll be a bit more of a fun video. I hope everybody enjoys. Now I did play Buried because Buried does pretty well, and it was a uh, not the the like most filled up public lobby. Oh no, I can't take it down this easy. How are people already going down? It's oh no, 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 don't down me. Whenever I'm about to talk about how easy this is to have around three, I gotta get out of here, man. Where's the? Did, did they open the gazebo? Yeah, we're good. Let's get out of this area and start actually trying to get set up. Um, because we don't need to pack a punch super early. It's Black Ops 2. We just need Double Tap 2.0. But I thought it'd be a fun video. I want to thank you guys so much for all the support lately. Um, I'll go ahead and mention it in this video because I haven't talked about it too much. Um. I didn't just do it because of the success of this channel, right? Let me make that clear. But I truly do believe in this channel. This isn't solo. Why do I buy Quick Revive? Ugh. Um, I kind of sort of dropped out of college. Now, there was a lot that went into that. But at the end of the day, I truly believe that YouTube is um, my passion. And I do love this channel. And I haven't talked about much on camera because I don't know the best way to word it. So I figured, hey, why not now? Hold up. Do I have the perma perk? I don't know if perma perks work in plutonium lobbies. I want to see. Where's a zombie? We might not have a. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Do I have a ton of like points from this? Oh, hold up. We're gig overpowered. This guy's just withdrawing points like crazy. That's okay. Uh, let's get some points and get jug and everything. I think that sounds good. I'm fine with getting a low OP. Um, but YouTube is going to be our main priority. And I'm fine if we don't grow a ton. Like, it's not pressure on you guys at all. Um, if we stay at this viewership forever, we're in a fine enough financial position to be able to go like this. But I just wanted to let you guys know, to let you guys know that this is my number one priority. Um, I really do love the community I've built, even though, you know, I'm probably the biggest YouTube community, each and every viewer. Um, God, I wish I could remember all the names. Nova Effect, of course, you have the longest comment streak. Um, oh, there's so many of you guys. I mean, even throughout the past of like people who have requested challenges and went for several so many days and I did them and now of course you might not comment as much but the comment streaks all the supporters all the people who give super thanks and super chats I, I can't thank you guys enough you guys are just insane you guys are amazing um, and I, I really do appreciate it with every fiber of my being and there's no pressure on you guys of course I appreciate it as always yeah, thank you. Uh, you guys have really helped make my dream come true. You guys have given me the confidence to do what I really want to in life. And and there's nothing that can repay that. But with that said, right quick at the beginning, I am supposed to say the good old fun stuff. Like, guys, if you could, please like, comment, subscribe. Especially comments. As I just talked about, I remember all the commenters. I read all the commenters' names. If you could, I would really appreciate comments. Um, but, you know, I feel no obligation. But no matter what, I appreciate it. I appreciate the support. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, I do love playing plutonium with randoms. It looks like we have an AFK. He's Who's shooting? I think there's one beside him who's shooting, so we don't need to worry too much about it. We'll keep using our perma perk to get the points. I think we still have the perma perk from whenever I did the PhD flopper challenge on this map, which is one of the best performing videos on this map. It was a, it was a ton of fun. Let's see. Double tap on this map is in the witch's hut. So what can we get right now? We could get I think we just hit the box, right? Like, am I crazy? We can get the perma perk on this map, which would give us, you know, good old... What am I trying to think of? Good old wonder weapons. I Surely they locked the box in place, right? How do you play Barry without locking the box in place? It'd be insane. It'd be insane not to. I don't know exactly how the box perma perk works, but it should be okay. 
Oh, hey, that come on. Give me a Mark II or a Paralyzer. I'd feel good with either. Oh. <laughs> Hold up. A hammer is insane, though. I can't turn down a hammer. Um, that's a little bit too good. I think we'll go Speed Call Double Tap. I don't see too much of a point to get anything else. Anything else we think we can get through um, the Witch's Perk. Speaking of which, is the Witch's Perk anywhere close? No. Not quite. So the, the Speed Call is right up here, right? I think so. I don't... Dude, the last time I bought Speed Call on this map, I don't even know. I think I've made two or three videos. I think three videos on this map. I love this map. This map always performs well. I think it's because... It's a bit more casual friendly, maybe, than Origins. I think Origins is, you know, kind of difficult, and reasonably so. Um, but I, I do love Origins. I mean, it's kind of the way it is with any Zombies map, right? Like, things are always complicated until you learn them, but then once you learn them, it's not... Rustman, please, I know you're AFK, but I didn't know I couldn't walk through you in this game. Was this one of the last games you could, like, trap players in corners in? I do remember playing with my friends in this map and would always like, not this map, but this game and would always trap people in corners. Man, Black Ops 2 was amazing, wasn't it? I, uh, <laughs> I've been playing so much Modern Warfare 2. I really like Modern Warfare 2. I know some people don't like it. There's certain, and, and to be sure there are, ooh, you got the Mark 2, man. You got to get that. Uh, there's tons of complaints with it, but it's so much fun. It's just such a good time. Soon as ready. Oh, you guys didn't lock the box? How do you play buried and not lock the box? You're insane. I gotta tell ya. What? Oh my gosh. So hold up. We have three people. Me, Stulinger, and Rustman. And Rustman's already AFK. We're off to a great start. I don't know how many people in Plutonium necessarily like join off of late game, um, like, lobbies. So we'll see if anyone joins in. It'll be, it'll be okay. Oh, looky there, we got somebody. But yeah, I thought this would be a fun video to record, um, because, you know, with the wedding celebrations and everything, there's a million things happening every night, and I was like, hey, you know what? I want to record a video like this, because, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it in the beginning, I meant to. PewDiePie used to do a blank Minecraft series, and I, I enjoyed watching it. I think it was with Cinnamon Toast Kin, if I'm not incorrect. Maybe I'm mixing up people here, but I don't think I am. Uh, and it was a ton of fun to watch and, you know, be a part of. No, of course, I saw like I was in the videos. But I thought it'd be funny to have, you know, a video like this with you guys. I, I'm trying to figure out what I can title it that won't get demonetized. Like, <laughs> something maybe like COD Zombies, but I've had too many quote-unquote water bottles. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll just be like, buried with strangers is insane. I don't know. We see a lot of new viewers on the channel, but it's weird, right? Because a lot of new viewers like the content. But I think it's just a harder time growing a gaming channel where you're not necessarily based on, um... Oh my gosh, this is the funniest moment ever. Um, more so where you're just, you know, you're just hanging out and commentating. Kind of like... There's... Let's, let's put it this way. There's not many that do it like an Northern Lion does it. You know what I mean? Um... But that's okay. Who's... It's Rustman. Dude, it's so hard to justify reviving Rustman whenever he's just AFK the whole game. We got one behind us. I didn't realize we were playing Misty. I thought we were playing Marlton. Uh, I was thinking about playing BF, uh, Black Ops 4 for this video, but here's something I don't know if you guys consider too much of your thinking about videos to watch. Cold War and Black Ops do two videos. Don't necessarily do the best. Especially Cold War. I love Cold War, man. I would kill to be able to c play Cold War more. I was like, if I'm playing Cold War, I know that the video is going to do a fifth as well as usual, and it makes me really, really sad, because I'm like, why do this when I could play Buried and get substantially more viewers? <laughs> Let's get Double Tap. We'll complete the Witches, um, and we should be able to hopefully be able to get a free perk. I just have to make sure I do this properly. This should be one by the bedside. And it might be coming one behind us. We'll wait for a second and make sure that this one right here pops up. I remember all the tips and tricks. Because she popped up early, we should be able to get through. Oh, man. I got it. I got it. Man, I used to play this map all the time. There used to be this really annoying glitch on PlayStation 3. Where, like, the witch would get stuck over there. And you would just have to constantly, like, end the game. Man, Call of Duty really has been glitched forever and ever, huh? I, I, here's my thing about whenever there's new Call of Duty is like obviously Modern Warfare 2 is the best selling Call of Duty in forever, right? Oh, also you might see there's five players in the game right now. This is an eight player lobby, which means there can be multiple, um, there can be a lot of players. But I think about how Modern Warfare 2 is really popular. 
And I bet you in 10 years we're going to hear people talk about like, because, you know, whenever I play Black Ops 2, people would always talk about, you know, oh, man, Modern Warfare 2, you know, people use noob tube launchers and all this stuff. I'm like, man, people are eventually going to talk about the CODs I played growing up like that. You know, there's this whole younger generation where they're all doing, where this is their first COD and everything. And that's just so crazy to me, man. I mean, Black Ops 2 is my first, what I'll call my real called. I played Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 1, but those were always my cousin's house. I was at my cousin's house a lot, but the first Call of Duty I owned was Black Ops 2. That's the first one where I, like, had my own account and everything. Now, i got to make sure I don't miss more than three zombies. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't lose this permanent perk. This permanent perk's way too much of a pain in the butt for me to get back. Okay, we're good. <laughs> um, but, like, there's so many people nowadays that Black Ops 2 was their first COD. And Block... Dude, maybe I'm crazy for this. Black Ops 2 is still a newer Call of Duty in my mind, and I know that's so wrong, but I think a Plaza, and I'm like, Plaza Kill Confirmed is the ideal Call of Duty experience, and I love playing Plutonium Black Ops 2 for that reason exactly. We have to be able to get to the Pack-a-Punch here soon. We can't keep getting stuck in this maze. But it's just like, man, so many players won't get to experience that, especially, dude, let me tell you, it is crazy that Modern Warfare 2 launched with maps and guns that are in its single player mode that are in the multiplayer mode i don't know what infinity ward is doing but it can't be good right <laughs> like that's insane um i'm also i don't know how many of you guys watched the m4 video where it's gold i thought a bit about it and i think maybe rolled to goads aren't the best way to handle a series in 2020 2022 on youtube but what I can do is I can have a video on each gun, right? If that makes sense. And then from there, what I can do is, like, I can go ahead and get the guns gold and platinum and whatever while I play. And then just title the video, like, the riot shield is the most OP thing and just have it gold. And it, in spirit, it's a, um, it's a road to gold. But I'm not necessarily talking about the gold gun. I'm just having fun using whatever weapon it is. Oh, I got the iron sets early. Uh, I'm just having fun with using whatever weapon it is and showing it off without that, you know, road to gold title on it, which might make some viewers not so keen on watching it. I think that's the best way to go about it. Also, I really thought it was interesting how so many of you talked about, you know, while I'm so small, it's best to grow with one channel. But I don't know how many of you know how the YouTube algorithm works. Because I, no matter how much I think about it, I think that two channels is just best overall. Because the YouTube algorithm will push content in my niche, and whenever people no longer watch that content, it'll stop pushing it. And the YouTube algorithm very easily gets confused. For instance, a good Northern Lion, I say, is the best um, example of what I want to be as a channel. And I will get Northern Lion content recommended to me that I'm not particularly interested in watching because... Uh, because although I like to watch the creator, I don't necessarily like to watch every game their creator plays. And YouTube isn't the best at separating that. Let's say you watch all my Call of Duty Zombies videos, it'll push my Modern Warfare 2 videos to you. Maybe you won't have any interest in Modern Warfare 2. It'll still push them to you. And then it'll be like, oh, people just don't want to watch this channel's content anymore. And that's a really, really awkward situation, right? Um, cause then it's like, oh, YouTube doesn't want to push out my content anymore, and even my Call of Duty videos, or, uh, my Call of Duty Zombies videos are doing bad. And that's not what I want for the channel. I really think a channel like Apothos Unbound is the best. Again, I'm gonna do the Riot Shield video. Or I'm thinking either Riot Shield or, like, the Javelin, because that's absurd. I think the Riot Shield would be more fun. We'll do a Riot Shield video, we'll see how it does, and if it does absolutely terrible, then we're calling it. Because I... It's not a money thing where I'm like, I need the money from this channel, but more so, I need my dreams that this channel has created, and I don't want to take the risk of losing those. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, um, but I really just want this channel to succeed, and I will do what it takes for the algorithm. I'll make a second channel for, you know, a Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, or if ever I want to play League of Legends or Overwatch, I think that'll be okay. And if you're into the more variety gaming, if you just like my uh, my voice and what I talk about, then you can watch those videos. You know, um, Zwag is a big League of Legends player I like to watch, and he uploads twice daily on two different channels, and I watch both of them. Ludwig, you know, he has his normal content, but he also has The Yard, where he just does his podcast stuff. So I think it would be A-OK. -okay. I don't think it would be too much of an issue at all. 
Uh, but we'll figure it out. Everything will be okay. You guys don't worry. You know, you guys got consistent content coming into you. Uh, maybe, you know, while the wedding and everything's happening, there might be a one or two day gap. But my goal for the future, you know, as I hope you all know, is that at most there will be a one day gap between videos. But I, I like to upload every day, but it'll just depend. I might have to upload every single or every other day just to make sure I don't get burned out. Because because I can never get burnt out on called Zombies, but I want to make sure I have decent video ideas. I mean, we're getting to this point in the channel where I'm starting to think, you know, some of the video ideas I did early might be worth revisiting now that I have a larger audience. For instance, I played Sepico is one of my, I think, first five videos, which is undoubtedly the hardest Zombies map I've ever played. And I think it would be fun to revisit that. Uh, I also think that several other maps and several other things at the beginning might be fun to revisit. Um, Octagonal Ascension, I think, was my one or two thousand subscribers special. And that's an insane map that I really think I could beat this time around if I went back to it. And I wonder if you guys would like to see that. But also I recognize that so many people have already done these maps. And it's a hard position to be in as a new Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty Zombies YouTuber. Where I'm thinking, well what kind of that's original? Because everyone's already done everything. And I think at that point you have to say, well, you know what? Maybe I won't be original. And that's okay. As long as I can make content that people enjoy. I don't care if I have a massive audience, yada, yada, yada. What does that matter to me? I just want people to enjoy what I make. I want people to watch my videos and enjoy it. And, you know, I think I've succeeded pretty well on that. We're only on round 10. Let's see. We're 16 minutes in the video. Not bad at all. I like to go between 30 minutes to an hour for videos. I don't mind the 20 minute videos, but whenever we get below 20 minutes, it's my favorite thing in the world. Uh, and you'll have to forgive me for this meta stuff like, oh, video length, because I'm not, I'm not the best YouTuber, maybe. I'm still learning. It's crazy to think that I have, you know, thousands of subscribers, but I only started this channel in January. I'm still learning. Now, I've made videos for a while, and you'd think I'd be better at it than I am, but it's okay. I received a comment not too long ago talking about how, you know, oh, it's so annoying that you say sorry nonstop. But in a way, I won't apologize for saying sorry. Because I do just want to make the best content possible for you guys. And maybe I'm not always the best at that, but hey, I enjoy it nonetheless. I enjoy everything about it. How is this? Why? Okay, okay, hear me out. Why do people AFK in like a plutonium servers? What is there to gain? It's not like it's, you know, Black Ops 3 and we're AFKing to get experience in search and destroy. I just don't get it. Man, that's an old reference. People. <laughs> People don't play Black Ops 3 on launch anymore. Um, it's crazy. I hear big YouTubers talk about how like how all their audiences between like seven and thirteen years old, and you guys, man, you guys are old. You guys are with me. We're all between eighteen and twenty-four. Uh, so you guys probably get my references. But it's just so weird to me, you know, how different my channel is maybe than the usual. One of the Minecraft YouTubers, I think it was Carl Jacobs, talked about how their channel was like seventy percent female viewership. Boys, I have less than 1% female viewership. I don't know what to tell you. Girls don't like COD Zombies. Trust me, I've tried to get my fiance to play. It doesn't work. <laughs> they don't enjoy the game. They get a little confused. I'm not... Okay, that might come off. I'm not saying women get confused until I play games. My fiance in particular gets a little bit confused trying to play this game. I mean, I guess I can keep trying to revive him. I don't think I'm going to go down just from one zombie trying to slap me. I mean, surely he'll keep going down, but we'll just keep reviving him. We'll farm the revivers a little bit. It's not a big issue at all. I think we'll go into around 20. I like to go to around 20 in public games because it gives everybody a good chance to be able to have their fun. But, you know, after we get to around 20, it's a bit of a hassle to be able to handle everything. That's okay. But we've got a, we've got a long video in front of us. I'll keep reviving Rustman. Um, oh, I didn't mean to open the chat there. As you might see, I typed in like A A S W D W whatever. I can put money in the bank on this server, but I also don't particularly care too much. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't care about having money in the bank. I've tried to think, and I've talked about this a bit about how I want to do like a bank only challenge. How did I? Oh my god! That scared me, man. We're looks like we're about to get a free perk again. Um, I keep accidentally typing the thing in chat. But I keep thinking about how to do a bank only challenge. I just don't know how to. Also, from the Call of the Dead video, so many of you guys have recommended amazing challenges. I'm very excited to get to. Um, and again, I, I can't stress enough. There is a balance between what I want to do and what you guys want to see. Um, because sometimes it's like, oh, you want me to do the... Here's a good one. The Garod Krovi Easter egg. Although I guess I haven't seen him comment in a while. 
Um, which just make me all sad upon thinking, but it's okay. Uh, but the guard curvy strike is a whole ordeal to go through. And I'll get to it one of these days. Uh, but it's okay. I saw a really sweet comment the other day. It's like, the best mistake I ever made was clicking on one of your videos. Because I guess I didn't mean to click on one of my videos, but they did. Uh, and they really enjoyed it. And that made me very, very happy to see. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the content. I know that maybe long form media isn't the most important most popular thing in this day and age you know we like that immediate satisfaction we don't like listening to long commentary videos but uh, these kind of videos have always been my favorite these are what i always enjoyed you know watching mr dalek jd do pistols only on farm that oh, the good times man those were the good times for me maybe i'm just too old maybe i just don't Maybe I'm not with it anymore, but it's okay. There are a few of you guys who probably are a bit too old anyways, and we'll we'll all hang out together in our young but old club. <laughs> it was a funny comment. It's like, bro, how are you talking about fiance? You're only 20? I'll, I'll give a Lord Villa my age. I am actually only 21. I turned 22 soon, um, but I am getting married at a young age, but it's because I have no doubt in my life um, that I found the one I love. Um, I, I knew her in high school whenever I was 14 years old, and through the past seven years, I've known she was the one, and I was lucky enough to have her agree that I was the one. Um, sorry if I get a little choked up there, but it's, I don't know, it's my favorite thing in the world. Um, and, and, and of course, <laughs> getting married at this stage and everything is maybe a little crazy, but, you know, her family accepts me as family, and my family accepts her, and it's just... It's just awesome. I won't, I won't talk too much about it, but I, I really do love the situation I'm giving. She's um, she's always supported my YouTube dream. Fun fact, I've, ever, I've talked to you guys at the very beginning how I've tried to run previous YouTube channels before and they didn't work the best. Um, <laughs> I <laughs> try not to go into too much detail here, but whenever I first started a YouTube channel, I told her <laughs> I made these jokes that she was only getting with me because she was a gold digger. Whenever I got rich and famous on YouTube, she just wanted to buy money, which was a big joke. So we had less than 100 subscribers. I'll never forget how insane it was to get hit 100 subscribers on a channel um, and how good that felt. And now, you know, I, ah, I'm i just, I'm lucky beyond all, and I love it. It makes me so happy. But I made these jokes to her, and then with the success of this channel and her support, man, to have a fiance who's like, yeah, maybe you've spent the last, you know, 17 years of your life going to primary school and then college. But you got to do what you want to do and I'll support you through it all. Um, you know, she got a good job offer. She'll make good money as soon as she graduates and we'll be set financially. So she was like, hey, you work on YouTube, you do what you love and, and everything will be okay. And I'll, if this channel does hit it big, I don't know. I don't know. But all I care about right now is, you know, working through that, man. I'll I'll make the content, make people happy. I'll do what I love and I'll talk because, hey, there's nothing I love more than playing video games and talking. Um, and to anyone out there who, you know, might be struggling in their relationship department, I know it's most generic advice. I, I was one of the people who were like the hopeless romantic, like I always wanted to be in a relationship. I called it this throwing spaghetti at a wall method. I would basically hit on every girl and see who it stuck with. And funnily enough, it never stuck with my uh, soon to be wife. But I, I tried that method for years. I probably dated about 15 girls in high school. I was constantly in a relationship. I, where, where are these 101 zombies? Maybe I'm losing my mind here. What's going on? Um, maybe they're at the witch's hut. I'll go check. But throughout all of that, it, um, it, the, the only time that I was able to get in a long lasting relationship was where I finally was like, you know what? I like myself. I like who I am. I don't need to be in a relationship to be able to get that, uh, satisfaction. And I accepted that. And that made my life a million times better. And that gave me the confidence to be who I needed to be in my relationship. Um, and I don't regret that in the very slightest. So, to anyone maybe struggling with relationship, I'd, I'd say, you know what, hey, focus on yourself. I also think this quote-unquote Sigma male grind set is the best. I think it's okay to want to be in a relationship. You don't have to be like, oh, it's only me and myself, yada yada. It's okay to want to be in a relationship. As long as you just have to work on yourself. Now, normally, whenever the game gets glitched out like this, there's um, a ghost that's, like, stuck around here. I'm going to see if I can find her. Uh, see if we can get this game progressing. Otherwise, we might have to call a bit of an early video because that good old buried glitch is happening once again. 
But I'm hoping we can figure out where this trapped ghost is. Let's see. Okay, we have the AFK go down. Why is Jug here? What? By PhD Flopper? That's not normally there. Um, but it's okay. Now, we do take damage from the ghost because we're not at max money. Let's see. I just want to make sure that we can get all these guys. I'm trying to think. I know the main glitch spot is, like, right at the beginning. Hopefully, now, I will have cleared everything out. And maybe we can get normal zombies spawning again. Crossing my fingers, I'm hoping. Oh, I can't get him, can I? There's no world. Also, we came in through the candy shop. I didn't even know you could do that. Truth be told. Oh, he's got him. Very nice. So where is the last ghost? Oh, no. The buried glitch strikes once again. We're at 25 minutes. It's okay. <laughs> uh, there she is. And now normal zombies again? We still haven't got our perk. Hmm. Let me see what I can figure out. If we go back through. It sounds like someone's getting hit. Maybe Rust Man? No, they're doing buried uh, PhD jumps. What can I possibly do to make this situation better? The only glitch spots I know are inside of the house, man. What are... I can't see what they're, like, fully typing. I can't pull it back up. Ah, uh, oh, dude, not the buried glitches. These are the worst. <laughs> How frustrating. It's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Let's see. Don't touch me, you ghost woman. I don't I don't like that. I don't know what you're saying, Carlos. I don't speak your language. Nothing against your language. I just don't speak it personally. Uh, let's see. If we go through here. No. Sometimes they will get stuck up here or something like that. What can I do? I just don't want the game to end like this. I'm afraid it might have to. They're right there. Let me keep going through here. Make sure that there's nowhere I'm missing. I have no points to lose, so it's A-OK -okay if I take damage. Get the shelf moving. There should be a one right there, and then one coming through here in just a second. Ugh. Please, ghost, give me a break. I'm just trying to get through here. Where, where could I be missing this glitched out zombie? What have I done so wrong? No, not back into the house. It's okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll keep going. It's okay. I'm not stressed about it. We'll go back to the candy shop and we'll see what everyone figures out. So I guess we'll cut through this way. Kill her. That should be... We got one more ghost. Clear all the ghosts as we can. So will they still spawn if I'm right here? Because it seems like ghosts are still coming through and everything. Rustman! Rustman, you're here? Or is it just because we have a sixth, fifth player join in? That we have another Rustman. Because all Rustman is quite AFK as I do believe with zero kills and 21 downs. It's okay. No stress to be had. Is our AFK moving? Oh my god. He is alive, big boy lad. What a terrible time to come play the game. Okay, so here's what I'll do. As a safety precaution, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little cut. Well, yeah, I think it's okay to do a little cut. We'll see if the game keeps going. If not, I'll do an exit. I want to have a little bit of fun, talk about some YouTube stuff and everything with you guys while playing some Buried, because Buried's just flat out fun, let's be honest. Uh, but I'll do a little cut and see if we ever get going from round 12 because we've been on it for about 10 minutes now We'll see if anyone figures it out. I'll be back in just a bit. I'll see you guys in a second So about 15 minutes later and me truly trying to find where this glitch ghost could be I'm having no luck um, We're still here for you guys It'll be you know 26 minutes or something in the video, but I'm at about 35 minutes. I uh <laughs> Wish there could have been a different end of this story, but it's okay. Sometimes, sometimes glitches happen, and it's okay. 
But I truly do hope you guys enjoyed this very special episode or, you know, whatever you want to call it, this video of COD Zombies. If you did enjoy, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. But yeah, have a good one, everybody, and take it easy.